Hey everybody, welcome to, I think this is part uh, 11 now? Finished up Act 1 last time. Really uh, beat the hell out of uh, the Night of Midnight. So, yeah, time to start Act 2. We're just gonna jump into uh, the besieged castle. Start uh, helping out Lady Guinevere. And, uh, Dendrine's a little injured, but, um, eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna bring her anyways. Now, this mission isn't super long, at least encounter-wise. I think I'm gonna have to do, like, five or six fights, but some of them may be a little long. Not too sure what the ch chances are, the odds are, of me getting a second mission in for this part. Uh, could kind of go either way, I think. Um, just, they all start out of range, so we'll just open with an overwatch with my ranged units. Okay. I mean, I'm sure as hell not going to go to you. There it is. Alright, so... Definitely gonna want to kill this picked warrior before he starts, you know, going all rage mode on us. So we're gonna stigma, shield charge, swing once there, thunderbolt, take out that enemy in the back, so our higher damage range units can focus more on uh, these guys up front here. Let's put a slow. Shoot something that way. Let's move Mordred up. Um, yeah. That looks good. And... We'll do a Poison Arrow. Just to reduce his damage output for the swing he gets on Mordred. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have figured they'd go for Landvol. That's okay, though, not a big deal. Alright, cool. Can just get a snipe there. Um, Alright, we're definitely getting a defensive stance. I don't think we're gonna be ending this combat this turn, so. That was a misclick. That was supposed to go on him. Well, I guess I know where our uh, arrow's going. Nice, managed to get the kill. Just gonna move you back. I don't want you getting shot. Cool. Thunderbolt can... almost kill, so if we do something like this... Drop that arrow. Oh cool, high rolled. Nice. Let's go ahead and Stigma. Thunderbolt, and then a nice easy kill. So we have Guinevere for this mission. She's a temporary character. We don't get to recruit her at the end of this. So, as usual, we can kind of, like, uh, meat shield strategy with her. She can take all kinds of hits as long as she doesn't die. Because she'll be back to full health for the uh, next mission we take her on. Start over to the left. Or I guess right if you're looking at the map. This fight shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so, lots of enemies, kind of a pocket over here, with one crossbowman, so we're actually going to move over this way a little bit, so it'll force this group of enemies to take as many turns as possible to get into range, so it's kind of like splitting them up. Um, we'll actually do this so that way Dindrain can shoot you. And yeah, this looks good. Can Hector get a kill there? He can. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Hector will get the kill on you, so that way Dindrain, she has backstabs lined up on. Uh, let's go with this guy. Poison arrow first. Awesome. Nice high roll, love to see it. Um, Alright, cool. Dindrain's really picking him off. The backstabs make a big difference. 
we have this uh, wizard here in the back. He does have a lightning bolt. What's the range on that? Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Currently out of range. He'll have to move up one. Um... Alright, so we're gonna do this because he's probably gonna shoot it at Landvolk, especially since he's injured. And none of these guys can really reach us. So... We're gonna just conserve our AP, actually. Alright, Thunderbolt on Guinevere. That's actually perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and freeze you. Can move up to here. Get a cleave in. If we teleport like so. Let's go ahead and drink the potion. That should bait some attacks over for Guinevere. Um, we got a thunderbolt. We'll inspire next turn. Um, we have these guys coming in. Let's move up like so. Let's drop a fire arrow. Excellent. Pull back a little. Actually, we can move you like here. Because we can drop a uh, fire blast now. Awesome. How is that a block? Whatever. That'll do for now. We're actually gonna move Mordred like so, so he can shield charge him on the uh, next turn. Because when he unfreezes, he has no debuff resistance. They're just kind of laying into Landwall. Alright, so now we do this. Easy. First things up on Guinevere. Inspire. Easy kill. Gonna put you right next to the wizard. Let's go ahead and pop a potion on Landville. Hector here. We're just gonna leave you in there. You'll probably die from a mix of the burn and the fire you're standing in. Slow you, shoot you, and because we hexed you, got the extra bonus damage, which allowed us to secure the kill. We do fire, then poison, then shoot. Excellent. Let's just move you up. Nice kill. Nice. Um, they really pick it on Landville. I'm surprised he took the shot instead of going for Guinevere, but I guess he is missing a lot of health and stuff at this point. Just get a kill there. Just start moving everyone else up. Just use that. Didn't need to, but you know. Knock him over. Let's sidestep. Plus up on Landville. Who gets the killing blow? Big whopping 44 on that hit. Preferably want to find a campfire before the next fight. I have a lot of healing potions stocked up, so it's not a big deal if I have to use a second one already, but would prefer... Yep, here we go. Hold on to it for a tougher fight later. This fight's a somewhat long one. We have three turns to kill him before reinforcements show up, and I'm pretty sure the reinforcements just spawn on the other side of the map, so it's not really a big deal. So, I'm just gonna let the reinforcements spawn. I'm not gonna rush. <laughs> we can pick off some really nice kills here. Right off the bat. Nice. Um, what kind of range they got? Nothing that can reach us this turn, so I'm not going to bother using defensive stance yet. Let's move Guinevere up. We'll pass. <laughs> then... Uh, ch -ch -ch. Let's go ahead and knock you down. Let's put Stigma on. 
We'll even Thunderbolt you. Um. Oh, nice. 57. Yeesh. I ha uh, I I'll show off some of my gear after this mission. I did change out some gear between beating the Night of Midnight and this one. Hector has some pretty crazy gear right now. Alright, and now uh, with Dindrain. Uh, we're going to save Inspire for our next round. Poison Arrow, regular shot. Well, actually, defensive stance this turn. And we're still just going to hold off on doing anything with uh, Guinevere. Dead. Let's pop that. Teleport. Move into backstab here. I think if we cleave... Almost. Go ahead and secure the kill here. We can uh, Thunderbolt to kill that crossbowman, actually. Alright, I guess we managed to kill him anyways before reinforcements showed up. Wasn't sure if I would, but my team's just kind of going nuts right now. There's an optional fight here, if I remember right. Yep. This is a really easy and a short optional fight we can bang out. Definitely going to slow you. One tap you. You know what? Let's actually inspire this turn. Move up one. Fire, poison, pull you back. Let's, uh. Alright, cool. Thunderbolt. And we're just gonna overwatch. So we teleport. Bless on Lanvil. Start stabbing the hell out of this guy. Knock you down. Move up and just annihilate this guy. That's a super easy optional fight. I don't think anyone will ever have any trouble with that one. Now, if I can't remember, there's an optional fight here, or if that's on a later mission that's just on the same map. There is an optional fight. Also, not many dudes. Two crossbowmen. We'll just do our usual strat. Let's move you over one so we can make space for a clear line of sight with our overwatch. Something like this. That looks good. Alright, we're gonna move up one. Fire blast here. Sick. Let's do this. So now we can... Uh, two to six, not super high odds of killing him, but, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. We could Thunderbolt, but... I'd rather do this. We'll just move up one to try and bait the shot from the crossbowman. You know, we'll do two, because, I mean, he can't reach and he can't reach. Yep. Um... Might as well inspire this round. We'll have Guinevere bless herself, since... Very nice. Drop the Thunderbolt, shield charge, and we'll let Mordred get the kill. Okay, so one last fight. So we'll uh, hit up... Yeah, let's go ahead and pick armor. I know we're missing some HP on Landville, but he's also missing armor. Mordred's missing armor. Right, so yeah, she's doing some ritual. And I think she just does that the entire time. And it's only when she dies the worm spawns or something. We'll see how it plays out when we start actually getting into it. Let's, um, let's do Stigma. Drop both of those. Slow here. Love to see that. Thunderbolt. We're gonna hold on to our Thunderbolt. 
And he can rush up on us. We're gonna actually gonna pull you back one. These guys will probably start getting shots off, so yeah, let's go ahead and defensive stance on turn one. Um, uh, might as- yeah, let's go ahead and overwatch. With Mordred, we'll save AP on landfall. Yep. One around it, that's fine. Because with an Earthshaker- uh, Okay, cool, I can't get both. That's what I like to see. Yeah, she's just gonna do this the entire time, so kill everyone else and then her. Drop one of these in here. No line of sight on their archer, huh? Well... Hmm. Let's move Mordred up one to bait attacks towards him. We'll do this and start taking shots at the uh, bowman. Inspire this turn. So we can just secure a kill. One less shot at Landville. You can even Blood Hex for some more damage reduction. Yeah, she's still just chanting. Cool. Can Stigma. Thunderbolt. We're gonna send Guinevere over here to take care of this pesky bowman. Can we get a shield charge? We can. Um, let's dash. Set a burn. Alright, now he's dead next turn. Start positioning everyone to just unload into this moon woman. I don't know if it's like the sooner we kill her, the less health the worm spawns. I've never actually bothered to pay that close attention to it between my different runs. Oh, okay. I guess he just she summons it if we take too long. Really? Thunderbolt can backstab, huh? Yeah, that's a lot of health. Let's go ahead and bless. Um, no, let's not fire blast. Can't immune to knock down and knock back. Okay. Well, we're gonna teleport here. Immediately freeze, that's for sure. And let's move to here. Start swinging. Oh, really? Line of sight's blocked. I'm dumb. Okay. We'll move her out of range of the uh, Moon Woman, I guess. Darn. Alright, well, let's pop this. Defensive stance. Cool. Start breaking through these stone shells. Move you up. Take a shot. Move up. Take some shots. Looks good. And dead. I should have paid attention to the debuff resistance on that worm. I should have known that he wouldn't have lost his entire turn from the freeze and I would have defensive stanced or used heal on more to something to help prevent that vitality damage. But it's not a big deal. He didn't take an injury. You can maybe sit him out in the hospice for the next one. Alright, so back in Camelot. Uh, an event popped up that required me to send out Balin, who was going to be my sub-in for putting Landville in the uh, hospice, so I guess I'm bringing him on the next mission. But just some of the gear. I mean, Mordred actually doesn't have anything new, so nothing really to show off here, but you can see the skills I have over here. 
that I've been picking up. Lanvil, not much is new. He just got this armor, actually, from that last mission, so some more HP and armor should maybe help him coming up, not get beat up a little bit. I did give him a new weapon going into that mission, so that's why he was doing a bit more damage. Dindrain also had a new bow, which is why she was hitting some pretty high ranges there, the max damage here on this being 15. Um, she got some new armor from that last mission I just did too, 17 HP for armor. Not that she gets hit a whole lot, though as we've seen in the past, some missions they just really like to focus in on her, so for those situations this will be good. Now Ector, he got some big upgrades. This armor he just got is just extra HP, but the staff he had going into that previous mission just a huge damage upgrade, 16 to 23 base damage, ignore 50% of block values, and plus 3 damage to force bolt, and I picked up this relic form from the uh, tower. Just another plus 4 damage on force bolt. So, Hector's probably my heaviest hitter right now, it's pretty cool. We have a lot of stuff popping up here on the map. Sadness of Sir Tegir, that's not a short mission. Knights of the Thorns, that's a, the one to recruit Sir Brunor. That mission is a little tough, and also some very long fights. Confrontation. Oh, this is a super long fight, too. This is... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to fit any of these into this part. So, each of these is probably going to be a whole part by themselves, if anything. So I guess that means this is where we're stopping. <clears throat> if you made it to the end, just want to say thanks, and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.